How is everybody doing? It's your boy Flip Kiki again. Coming back at you with another episode of the HDL. This is week two, and we are facing test groups of the McAllen Morpicos this week. Coming off a nice win last week against Sev of the Quick Claw Strays. Going into week two, we're going to be going against Tapu Fini, Celebi, Needle Queen, Dreddy, and Electivire, Calyrex, Mega Pinsir, Zapdos, Colossal, Umbreon. And more Pico. He also caught a dub last week. So one of us is going to be not going to be undefeated after this week, sadly. So without further ado, let's get right into it. See, it was a little long last time, so we're going to try to make this one a little bit shorter. Let's start with Urshifu. We're banded this week uh, running Sucker Punch. It's pretty much going to be, unless we have Scarf Wicked Blow, I'm going to bring Sucker Punch. Because I learned that even if I'm memeing, Sucker Punch is nice. So we're banded with Wicked Blow of Sucker Punch. U turn. His team has obviously his Calyrex and Celebi. Plus, throw in a Morpico and throw in an Umbreon. And things are just neutral to it. The team is very, very weak to U turn. We have a U turn and a lot of pivot on this team. And then we also have Thunder Punch for Tapu Fini. And basically, a Wicked Blow will still do a massive chunk to Pinsir. But if we're banded into Thunder Punch, we can then hit Tapu Fini. The only problem is. He has Electivire, so Electric moves are a little scary. However, if he runs Physical Electivire, it doesn't really make any sense to have Electivire switch in on effects. So that's basically it. I forget what this is outspeeding. I think this outspeeds max speed effect Electivire in base 97, the Electivire is 95. So then we're going to go into Forsaken Roof, the Corviknight. This week running one attacking move is Brave Bird. Ma almost max HP, max defense, max defense, boosted max defense, plus speed to... Base uh, outspeed is 65. I'm not sure. It's not something super important that we're outspeeding. However, we have Brave Bird, Roost, U-Turn, and Bulk Up. Yet again, another U-Turn. We want the pivot. We want to be able to abuse the bad typing uh, like collection, I guess, that he has. If we're able to abuse this team as we can U-Turn, we're going to have U-Turn on a lot of bonds. Uh, Brave Bird, Bulk Up's a good combo. We have Roost to heal the recoil off. Brave Bird... It's a lot of things on his team, and Corvette just sits on things in general, like his bulk up and waste turns. So it's kind of meant to solve things out with bulk up a little bit, which would make sense. So if we're going to go into Rosa Raid now, uh, as you can see, the team's the exact same, except as last week, except for two. We were not bringing Vanillix, and we were not bringing Gengar. Instead of Gengar, kind of, we were bringing Rosa Raid. Now, the biggest move on here is Toxic Spikes. He, he has a reliable Defogger in Tapu Fini, however, we can stall it out. And we have Toxic Spikes. With Toxic Spikes, Black Sludge on Roserade. We have Giga Drain to heal up. We have Sludge Bomb to do damage. And we have Protect to solve turns. Originally, I had Vanillix on this build instead of Rhyperior. But then I realized how undeniably valuable rocks were this game. Rhyperior is my only rocker on my entire team. But his um, Pinsir can't run boots. I realize Pinsir can't run boots because it's a Mega. This Mega Pinsir can't run boots. So if we get rocks down, his Pinsir has to switch into 50% unless he defogs them away with Feeny. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to, we don't have any removal because we don't really care about removal this week. Like nothing super weak. So Stealth Rock Roar to switch things out into rocks and Toxic Spikes. We have Rock Blast to hit things and we have Av Avalanche with low speed. Avalanche has another surprising amount of things on his team. Uh, we are careful nature. We have we're kind of bulking special defense. I think we could take a hit or two from Feeny, or just a skull. But Feeny is not investment invested at all. Defense is beefy. We're max HP. We want to switch in things as much as possible. Plus, the more HP we have, just the more we can wear things down. Plus, we have Rocky Helmet for chip. So this thing's a big chip guy with rock or stealth rocks and Rocky Helmet. And this thing also has Black Sludge to wear things down as well. This thing will wall Feeny. This thing. And uh, do some decent walling against or Pico. It can do some decent walling against Nido Queen, but mostly this thing this thing walls Feeny completely. Uh, the only thing that was scaring me is I didn't have a Colossal counter, so we're gonna we have Flygon, just max speed, max attack, life orb, D dance, very standard, but no Dragon move because nothing here really is weak to Dragon move except Drudigan. Dragon is something we can deal with the chip because Dragon has no reliable recovery. So if we just earthquake two EQs with one D dance, we'll kill a Dragon. 
Plus, we don't take Rocky Helmet damage. We, like, Dragon doesn't get recovery. I don't believe. Does Dragon get roost? Dragon gets roost. That, that'll be kind of bad. It, it gets rest. That's it. But everything gets rest. And red, rest is not reliable recovery if you're not running some type of weird set on it. So, Flygun's very standard. Rose Raid does some walling. And then now we're just going to go Jolteon. More just pivot. We have double item. We have double lefties and a black sludge. So we have a lot of stallish potential here. Protect. Wish protect Jolteon. Basically, we're max HP, some special defense bulk, and some special attack. Get some Thunderbolt, do some damage. Speed. I think that's to outspeed. Max speed jolly. Non scarfed. Zapdos, I believe. I'm not sure, though. I think... Yeah, phase 100's hit. Phase 100's hit around, like, 324. Like, 340, 324. So we're doing that to outspeed it. Or it's out... That's outspeeding Max Speed Jolly Pinsir, I believe. The 56. I should have written notes down. I'll probably do that for next time. Yeah. It's just Voltsor Thunderbolt. This thing is really abused by Electivire, but that's if he brought Electivire, as you will notice again, no Slowbro, and as you will notice again, no Darmanitan. Look at this team. Grass type, Psych or Grass type, Grass type, Bulky Water, Electric type, Bug type, Dark type, Dark type. What is it, what is Slowbro supposed to do against that? Sure, it does well against Colossal. My bad. It does decent against that. It could just Brave Bird it. It does decent. It did actually pretty well against Needle Queen. That's it. That's really all it did. So again, I didn't bring it, and I think of it more as a normal Slowbro anyway. There's no point. Plus, this team is very difficult to build because I needed rocks that badly. Like, the weakest link in this team, I think, would be Jolteon. But Jolteon is kind of crucial for keeping Feeny in check, or also fishing out Electivire, if I want to. Also, it's very, it's very important in taking out Pinsir, if we don't have any priority left, and if this Zapdos is still in the field. So it's good. It'll be good late game. It'll be surprisingly good late game, I believe, but other than that, I don't think it's going to do too much in the middle. Wish is nice, especially for this, nice for this, and it's nice for this, and this. Like, Wish I could pass to basically everything. This has a lot of recovery, so... It should be interesting. I don't. Pl I don't think. I don't know who would get a bunch of the kills. A Flygon sweep would be great if I could see the opportunity. But I don't think Flygon will do much either. It'll be probably a lot of pivoting between these three early on, this coming in, and then just getting kills when openings arise. That's basically what the game plan is. Um. I don't know what if he can bring something to be bad. Like he said, he has something that I will be in pain about. I don't know. But without further ado, let's get into the battle. Okay. So we are here. He brought Pinsir, he brought Zapdos, Calyrex, Umbreon, Tapu Fini, and Nido Queen. No Electivire, which is big, which means I can comfortably lead Jolteon. No Drodigan, which is nice. No Colossal, which is also very nice. Um, no Celebi. So no weird Baton Pass stuff, but Calyrex being here scares me. It really does. But this is all here. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to lead Jolteon, I think. I think that's the move here. Um, what puts in work? I mean, Flygon can actually... See, I don't know who actually puts in decent work here. Urshifu? Wicked Blowing will put in decent work if Feeny's dead. I mean, it'll have a problem with Zapdos, but we have Thunder Punch for that. And then we could probably live... We might be able to live one? See, I don't know. Oh, uh, Ricardo's female. I forgot to change genders. But hopefully that doesn't come to bite us in the ass. Rosa Raid puts in decent work. I mean, I don't know how well we match up for our attacking mons. I 
hope I'm doing this right. Well, without further ado, we're just going to lead Guilty on here. But, I mean, if he goes Nidoqueen turn one, I don't have anything for it. We're going to lead Jolty on. Calyrex, okay. This could be something really funky, turn one. So I could probably just go Urshifu for free here. I mean, I don't see any other option except Corviknight. Corviknight might be able to sit on this thing. I don't know what moves this thing gets. But we're gonna volt switch. It's just a matter of who we decide to volt switch into. Okay, he need a queen. That's fine. Nope. He's went straight need a queen. But we know this now. It's a matter of what Needle King has. Because I'm kind of forced to go Corviknight here, where he just kind of got Needle Queen in for free, which is not the best. Because he probably has Ice Beam, which doesn't do well against a decent amount of my team. How much does Urshifu do? The Nido Queen. If, if, I, if it's defensive, Wicked Blow is a two code. But we're going to go into Corviknight to be safe. Safe place Corviknight here. Rocks? Okay. That's normal. That's pretty standard. Uh, do I just bulk up here? I might just bulk up here. See what happens. I just hope this does, this isn't a bad play. I really don't know what else to do right now. It's kind of just... Preliminary Dragon Tail. Oh, so he's just phasing me. Into Jolteon. That's not the best. But I just go back out to Corvin Knight again. Unless he wants to reveal another move, but then I have to reveal Protect for that. I'm just going to go into Corvin Knight again. Hope it doesn't bring me out into Jolteon. Calyrex again. Okay, that's fine. Um, He won Calyrex in on this? I mean, does he know I have U-Turn? Yeah, I'm just going to U-Turn. Sub? Cool. Yeah, you're not... <laughs> you're not going to be able to sub here. But I have to switch into something off of that, which is not the best, but I just have Urshifu. So... That's cool. Um, I'm faster than this, unless this is... This isn't scarfed into... Sub. So, unless he goes... I'm like, what is he going to go to? I'm not resist, but I just... Again... I get a wicked blow off. Okay, Feeny Chip. Skadoosh. Damn! Damn! Do I think this is scarfed? I mean, do we take the risk if this is scarfed? Because this kills if this thing isn't Scarfed. Do we live a Moonblast from a Scarfed Tapu Fini? No, we absolutely do not. But is this thing Scarfed? I'm going to click it. Yep, it's, it's not Scarfed. Tapu Fini's dead. We just get rocks up, and then this thing, and then Pinsir can't switch in. That's fucking huge. Banded Wicked Blow is insane. That is huge. We just get rocks up and rocks stay up permanently. And Pinter can't fucking switch in more than once. That is huge. We need to get Rhyperior out as soon as possible. What is he doing? Is he just going to close combat me? I mean, CC... I mean, Wicked Blow has a chance to kill... But what does this thing do to Corviknight, though? Not much at all. <laughs> Not much at all. We're just going to go Corviknight. I don't want to risk... I want to get I want to get risky here. Yeah, here's the CC. That's fine. He's, mi he's minus defense. Do I just kill this with a Brave Bird? Brave Bird just kills now? I don't know if he knows that, though. He, I don't know if he knows I have Brave Bird. And he can't 
Well, close combat did how much? 30%. Okay, so it was just normal. He might be jolly still. But does he know I have Fairy Bird? But then Corvin Ice really, really fucking well. I'm gonna, I can roost. Um, because even if he's plus, plus two with a sword stance... Yeah, we're good. Okay, into, into Zapdos. Brave Bird would actually have been really nice. But then he has... Zapdos Galar? Fuck, it only has blank sets. Does Zapdos Galar get an electric move? It gets Blaze Kick. It gets Thunderous Kick. This thing's like banded. I mean Blaze Kick. I need I need to run a calc here. This is if this is like adamant choice band blaze kick. That's like that's what we're thinking here. Brave Bird still does so much. We just fucking Brave Bird and ship this thing to hell. Blaze kick. I knew he had blaze kick. He's life orb. Almost dead. So he's orbed in the blaze kick now. So Flygon. Flygon quad resists this. Flygon absolutely quad resists this. He's life orb. He's life orb, not banded, which is good to know. Life orb goes 25 to 30. I mean, all we have is stone edge for this thing. And what does this do to Rhyperior? Nothing. And then we have Avalanche to kill this. Or... Yeah. We, we have Rhyperior in. Flygun's out now. Which is actually fine. That's actually fine. Because... Okay, so if Pincer's in... If Pincer's in on Flygon... Return has a chance to kill... After Rocks. 75% chance to kill after Rocks. So does he CC or does he rock her? I'm a Stone Edge. He, he CC'd me. He's dead. He dies He dies to Stone Edge. Easy. And it crit. Let's go, Flygon! Calyrex now. Uh, I just U-turn. I just U-turn for free here. Unless this, is, this isn't Scarf Calyrex. So I just U-turn for free here. If he decides to stay in, he dies. He doesn't know I have U-turn on this. So we're just going to U-turn now. Dead. Oh my God. Now we get up. We now we get up rocks for free. No, we don't care about rocks anymore because Pincer's dead. So what we can do is we have Jolteon, but then we can't do anything with Nido Queen. We have Urshifu, who can. He doesn't do too much anymore. I like Rhyperior right now. I like Rhyperior because if I get rocks up, he has to switch in Zapdos and died. He has to bring in Zapdos and die. So we just bring in Rhyperior now. You turn Jolteon? <laughs> Umbreon. I just get rocks up now. And if he tries to do some sh stupid shit, I just roar him out. I just get rocks up now. So he can't keep switching around. Is that those only gets one more attack off and then it dies? Unless oh no, this is gonna wish pass. This is wish passing into the into the Zapdos. This is gonna no, it's not. It flinched me. This is gonna wish pass into the Zapdos. Zapdos can still win this game. Oh, it was just dark pulsing me. What? So if Umbreon's in, um, ah, uh, 
Then we have Hyperior. I mean, Rock Blast. Just three hit Rock Blast. Like, it's, this thing is just gonna get chipped. It's, it's just gonna chip me to death. I mean, I have Urshifu. How much does a uh, Banded Urshifu U turn do? A lot. <laughs> So that's what we're gonna do. Our dark pulse. Cool. He's gonna fear the CC. He's gonna fear the CC. Oh, he, he forfeited. Um. What? Yeah, at that point, I know I lost. Huh. None of my ones saved. What do you mean they? None, none of them saved. Uh, it was supposed to be my uh, Umbreon was supposed to be wish toxic. Well, protect. well, yeah. I figured it was wish. You were. I thought you were gonna wish into the uh, Zapdos. I thought that's what you were gonna do. Yeah, but uh, why did? Guess it what it has? It has fucking the heal bell. Oh, for some dumbass reason. In interesting. So how are we gonna? I don't know. Why did you just for why did you forfeit it then? <laughs> we could have played the rest of it out. You already know it's a 6 0 sweep. Shut up. No, it's not, though. Because Zapdos we'll does just, more work than you no, think. Yeah, the Zapdos that's coming in on fucking stealth rocks, dude. Oh, you don't have wish. I do have wish. I had heal bell. Instead of toxic, like I was supposed to. Oh yeah, the Zapdos dies once it comes in the rocks. Rock. Yeah. And it, yeah, and if you didn't wish, it'd only get one attack off with Life Orb. Uh huh. For some reason, I thought that Feeny was Scarf, and that's why it took that long for me to click that click that move. I assume your fucking Skadoosh is Scarfed. No, it's Banded. That's why that Wicked Blow oh, did so cool. much. It's it doesn't actually have a fighting move. It can't really touch Umbreon. Uh. Yeah, Wicked Blow does... Uh, it does 34 to 43. Like, if I just wanted to spam Dark... Or spam Wicked Blow, I could. Uh, I mean... Like, I predicted you switching. I was going yeah. to Toxic, but instead I have fucking Heal Bell. So there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. What was the... Was this the Cancer thing you t were talking about? No, the Cancer thing was the Calyrex, but you brought U-Turn on literally fucking everything. Well, well yeah. <laughs> what else was I supposed to do when you have Celebi and Calyrex? I mean, I, this had U-turn. The Corviknight had U-turn. Yeah, the, I, the I knew you had brought U-turn on literally everything. Yeah, you didn't even get to see... In fear of getting the fucking sweep. Yeah, that's... Why wouldn't I? Because <laughs> you're a bitch! <laughs> I'm sorry I don't want to get swept. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't want to get swept. You're, uh, <laughs> the Rosa Raid was a bitch, too. Because I had Toxic Spikes on that as well. Because I, if Tapu Fini died, you would just basically get Hazard stalled. Basically. Because I knew Tapu Fini was your reliable defogger. And if I just brought rocks and killed Tapu Fini early, Pinscher was Dude. fucked. Because you can't run... Fini had, Fini had Ice Beam. <laughs> I, I know. I know it did. Like, I knew Fini yeah. had Ice Beam. Like, I knew Roserade was a Fini counter if it didn't have Ice Beam. But I knew it probably would. But Wicked Blow did over half. And I calced it and knew Wicked Blow would do over half if I was banded. And if you switched into a Wicked Blow for some godforsaken reason, it was going to die. Because I would just do it again. Unless you were Scarfed. And I was really afraid if you were scarfed, and I would just lost the game there, basically. Because Corviknight... You saw all Corviknight's moves, actually. Uh, Jolteon was Volt Switch with Wish Protect and Thunderbolt. Of course it was. It was Wish Tech because if I got the Toxic Spikes down, I could kind of, like, chip. Because I it was originally a chip game plan. Because instead of Rhyperior, I had Vanillix at first. But then I realized, oh, Pinsir has to not have Boots. So if I get rocks down once and then kill Feeny, I win, basically. Because Pinter can't do shit if I do that. So I, I, all I need is rocks. Rhyperior was also... I even, I forget what the Rhyperior set was. Um, it, it was rocks. It was just there for rocks, basically. But then it was... It was... Uh, Look, hold man, on. that's really cool and everything, but I don't care. Because <laughs> I got fucked over by fucking Showdown, dude. It, it had Roar. <laughs> It had Roar if you tried to pull some BS with Umbreon or some shit. It had Roar. It also had Avalanche. Jesus Christ, I don't care. I know. Uh, so who are we going to give the kills to? Just fucking 
Because I would Doom say... Give the Doom to Urshifu, I don't care. I would say Zapdos dies to Rock, so then you give the kill to Rhyperior. And then Urshifu... I guess we just give him the Urshifu? Because... We could blow three yeah. toes you, and you just die. Was that your only attacking move? Is Dark Pulse your only attacking move on Umbreon? Yep. Okay, so yeah, Urshifu I could have that. fucking Toxic stalled it, but... Nah, man. And what about uh, Nidoqueen? Uh, Nido Queen was fucking. Would Nido Queen been able to kill it, or? Uh, yeah. It would have, or would have died. I mean, if it didn't have a fighting move, then yes, I could have just dragon tailed it. Okay, yeah, yeah, I didn't have a fighting move. I all I had was Wicked Blow. My last move was Thunder Punch. I had Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, U Turn, Thunder Punch, with Band. I had, top, I had Thunder Punch for Feeny. I guess I didn't need it, but I had Thunder Punch for Feeny. If you were, like, really defensive, I think. So, and then you would have Dragon Tailed me out, and then... We could probably just give it to Urshifu, because Urshifu, Urshifu easily two codes with Wicked Blow. So, because I outspeed Nidoqueen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I also had Earth... Uh, I... I tried to have Earth Power, but instead I had fucking Earthquake. Huh. And Flygon was obviously... I didn't click D-Dance, but Flygon was D-Dance. Because nothing... Flygon also, uh, I was... I was supposed to be Leftovers on my fucking Umbreon, but no. It's King's what? Rock instead. Well, you did get the one flinch. King's Rock Dark yeah, but King, King's Rock doesn't calc for things. Oh, that... it's not contact. Yep. yep. That'll do it. No, it King's Rock calcs for things without a chance to flinch. Ah, uh, I see. Man. Well I guess I guess is a this is a, um a playoff match now. This is a bittersweet victory. Enjoy yeah, it. Yeah. I mean I didn't want to get swept by the Celebi uh Calyrex cheese, so of course I'm gonna bring U turn on shit. I don't wanna get swept by that. I'm fine with losing, I just don't wanna get bitch swept. That's what I don't want to do. So. Instead, you want to bitch win! Well, I feel bad now. Uh, the worst thing is I have I have Hop Steam on now, too, so it sounds really happy right now. <laughs> like, I fucking... I changed all my shit, like, three days ago, and I guess it didn't save. Was it on mobile? Did you do it on mobile? It no, up. I did it on the app. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know how to end this now. I just feel bad. Fuck. I'll see you all next week for another bitch made win. <laughs>